Today we're gonna to show you a PC that you can build three of before you reach the price of the PS5 Pro. And we're gonna show you guys step-by-step step how to put it together and see how it performs after a word from today's sponsor. Attention PC builders, do you wanna save money on your Windows activation? Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered an awesome online marketplace with game keys and also Windows licenses. It's awesome how easy it is to activate Windows. You literally just buy a key on GVG Mall using code TB20 to get a really good discount. And from there, you literally copy and paste the key into Windows and boom, you now have an activated version of Windows. You can get Windows 10, Windows 11, and a bunch of other different keys at GVG Mall. And be sure to use code TB20 on checkout to save money on a Windows 10, Windows 11, or any other key from GVG Mall. Big thanks again to GVG Mall for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it, shall we? All right guys, for $240 after tax, we have a well, gaming PC right here that we're gonna put together featuring an RTX 2060 and the deal that kind of made this build possible, the P410 workstation. We've tested the P310. We tested the P520. We tested a lot of <laughs> Lenovo's, but this one right here is a little bit different. It's a P410, a little bit different from the P310 because it uses the Xeon processor and actually uses ECC memory. Kind of weird, but these are going on eBay for around 60 to about $90, give or take, depending on the deal. And ours came with 32 gigs of RAM and that Xeon processor, the E5 1630 V4, four core eight thread. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool little era where we're starting to, um, instead of optiplexes, which were just normal consumer grade office PCs, now we're starting to get to these workstations, which would have been at um, you know places like corporations, sometimes at home, but it's just crazy to see like giant tower coolers. We got ample room for adding things like storage and graphics cards, of course, which obviously this is not a gaming PC yet, but we just have to add one little thing. And obviously it goes without saying, these videos are used as like a blueprint for you at home to do some deal hunting and find PCs like this. If you find a P410 that you're like, I've never heard of that before, but it has good specs, maybe I should try that. You could find this video and we'll show you guys that it is a good option. And and um, yeah, with what's inside this thing with that Xeon and ours came with 32 gigs of RAM, which is Ooh. actually kind of crazy. Um, but once again, it is ECC memory, which will save you a lot of money because sometimes you can find that for dirt yes. cheap. Yeah, ECC can only usually be used with higher end processors. It's basically just normal RAM that has better error checking, which honestly in gaming, not really gonna benefit you, but the fact that it's cheap is what we're looking for. And yeah, it does come with a 450 watt power supply with a six pin power, which for this nice. video, we are gonna be using a six to eight pin adapter, which is much safer than using a SATA to eight pin or six pin adapter. Um, it'll allow us to get the power we need to our graphics card. Yeah, it's cool too. This power supply is actually a 80 plus platinum from FSP. So a pretty, pretty good power supply for 450 watts of pure FSP. FSP power. <laughs> um, but at this point, um, there's not much more to talk about. I mean, it's really just, this is a simple video. So we're gonna show you guys step-by-step step how to upgrade it. And then we're gonna play some games. So this is an RTX 2060, six gigs of VRAM. It's a very legendary card. We really uh, used to use these a lot in our builds back in the day, but this one is cheap because it's a Dell OEM card. You really can't tell that though. Uh, the only thing that kind of gives it away is the fact that it's like an all green PCB, a little single fan card, um, but it's going to fit in the system. That's the important part. So I'll show you guys I put it in, real simple. And it's, it's weird to see that we're to the point where we're building like office PCs for this cheap with RTX cards. Yeah, this was $129 for this card, which I think is good price performance. So yeah, you basically just open this latch in the back, which ours was like already open. It's All right, so once we're lined up, you can see that we got the golden fingers. <laughs> the <laughs> the uh, slot is in there, or the lane. What, I can't remember, what do our viewers hate that I call it? They hate they that you I call it lane. lane, yes. Yeah, so it's a slot, it's not a lane, you know, that's, that's internal. Um, but then we should be able to close this. Oh, I did close, cool. That's actually, that's solid. It's a metal, what is it? Metal solid? Metal <laughs> solid, solid. Metal is solid. Uh, there's our six pin. Here's the Plug adapter. All right, here we go, you ready? And oh. Oh. six to eight pin. We got and, enough power um, to power this thing. I know we talked about this before, but one of the things that we like about these is if you look at the pin out, I believe, so yeah, we have our whole positive side here and then the negative side, it literally just adds more grounds. So. I feel pretty safe about it. We've used these like multiple times. We've never had an issue so far. Yeah, and that six pin pushes so much power already yeah. that just adding the ground just make it to where it works better for this. All right, so that was easy. Our graphics card's done. SSD time. Now, I didn't look, but yeah, no no NVMe slots on this. We're not super new gen yet. This does have a, uh, what is this? For intruder, intruder switch. Intruder switch, which <laughs> I've had the side panel off and it hasn't activated, so maybe it's broken, I don't know. Uh, but for the SSD, basic 512 gig SSD to get at the $240 price point, you can get a one terabyte or two terabyte. How much storage you want, go for it. Um, just get a two and a half inch SSD. I'm gonna see, does this have what we need? Uh, wait, yeah, buddy. Look uh, at this. So we have the mounting holes here, 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 and here. 
That it makes is. it so easy. I love it. It's now like we'll say, fine thread screws you at home, you may get one of these and it may not come with this tray. That's pretty common for those just to get pulled. But um, <laughs> honestly, with a SSD, you can put it wherever. You could stick it wherever. You can stick it on Jonah's head if you want to. As you can see, one, two, three, four. We're gonna do the two screw method because yeah. Linus taught us this. Linus said, only use two screws, guys. What are you doing? Are you idiots? <laughs> in us? this economy, more than two screws can be make or break. Yeah, crazy. All right, so we'll screw in this last one. And I feel like this is the most secure an SSD has been in some of these builds we've done recently. So go ahead and take this ladder right back in place. Boom. It's so satisfying when it's like properly mounted. Love it. SATA power, it's gonna go right here. And then SATA data, it's gonna go right next to it. Data. Oh, and it's angled the right way. Oh my goodness. And would you look at that, guys? Right here, we have a gaming PC. That looks pretty solid, four core A-threaded Xeon. I'm curious to see how that Xeon does with the RTX 2060. Will we see some bottlenecks here? But for easy comparison, this Xeon does compare to a seven gen i7, the 7700, but it is slightly slower on the clock speed. So we should be in a really good position here for $240 but we got a game on it. Let's see what it can do and then talk more about the value proposition of the P410 if you find one at home. All right, guys, before we dive into all the benchmarks, gotta let you all know, we did notice that the GPU was running incredibly warm. As you can see with the 3D Mark score, it was significantly worse than I expected, and the GPU was running incredibly loud. So we decided to do a thermal paste swap. I didn't really think that was gonna fix it, but it made a dramatic difference. Definitely good idea to check thermal paste on your GPUs when you buy them used. This made a world of difference. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and benchmark this with some fresh thermal paste and show you the true potential of this PC. All right, guys, we are playing Warzone, and we are currently at the basic preset. We got DLSS on since we got NVIDIA, and we're doing the balanced preset. We're doing 1080p, and let's see what this bad boy can do. We're on max FOV as well. This is a big ask for a $240 computer, uh, but hey, it should at least get 60 FPS. That's kind of the goal here. That's why we're kind of running some aggressive settings. So far, so good. Not bad. No way. These guys <laughs> are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho. I wanted to let him get up, you know. Unready, him, yeah. Papa? You were deaf on ready. All right, we need to get on prison ASAP. Oh my god, dude, that's so, thing. Yeah, pretty, that's pretty, pretty sturdy. <laughs> that's a sturdy gun. Oh, oh that, that, that gun's it. Oh, I have a sniper. There it is. So there was that one guy shot back here, really. Oh! <laughs> He's still up. How did he live? The enemies are my enemies. Oh yeah. Rockefeller. Whoa. Oh. oh my god, this might be it for us. Ow. That's a way to go out. Ooh, wow, look at that. Ow. I think I, I probably crouched into a headshot, honestly. Mm. Let's, let's see the playback. See the playback? What happened? What happened? I don't know. He just didn't miss. Well, that was Warzone. Uh, I mean, guys, we got eighth place, honestly pretty playable experience in basic settings. So yeah, we'll run some other games per usual, see what we got here, but all in all, it's looking pretty good for 240 bucks, but let's really stress this thing. All right, guys, we're on the P410, and we're playing Fortnite uh, with the RTX 2060 and E5 1630v4. Uh, we are currently running these settings we normally do run, and the circle's already moving because, uh, well, it took forever for me to load it on the first drop. Far view distance, low textures across the board. And um, yeah, it's looking, it's looking okay. Not, not great so far. This is gonna be a real test of that Xeon CPU, the 1630 V4. Uh, it was just a four core eight thread, but at least it's a four core eight thread. Quad cores in Fortnite, you might as well just not be playing Fortnite to be honest. But I do have the uh, preload stream uh, textures enabled. Um, so we have all those downloaded ready to go. And I'm gonna drop here, even though there's been a lot of fighting here already. This is probably a bad idea. Okay, so we landed. Uh, we are definitely CPU bottlenecked right now. 100% load in the CPU, but knowing me, I will probably die here in two seconds and I will be able to test this again on another drop. Sorry, buddy. Behind you. I was behind you. Oh! Beefy cupcake. That's what we like to call McAllister, to be honest. Yeah, definitely a bit of stutter, um, but. Hey, I think it's still playable. When we're talking as cheap of a PC as we're doing here, 240 bucks, it's uh, really cool to see that we can still play games like this. And uh, the potential with the 2060 is much higher with it being a slightly higher end GPU uh, in games that are more GPU bound, which we will be testing. Oh, I ran into a wall. Oh, someone's behind me. 
Whoa, whoa! Buddy, you gotta chill. You can't be doing that to me. Whoa, someone else was shooting at me. Ah! Oh! Hey, that gives me a chance to get another drop in. Got a lot of kills. We'll try another drop real quick just to verify that there's not any problems happening. Um, maybe this drop will be a little bit faster, but yeah, we're definitely more CPU bound than I thought I would be with this 1630 V4, but we'll drop again and see what happens. We'll say based on the warm-up lobby, it's still looking like our CPU's at 100%. And I know a couple more drops in Fortnite might alleviate the issue, but I just wanna make sure everyone's aware um, if a game is definitely CPU bound or a PC is CPU bound when it comes to uh, Fortnite, um, that you might have some issues in other esports titles. So uh, we'll go ahead and land here and uh, maybe performance mode makes sense for this system, not DX12. Um, I would have thought uh, DX12 would make more sense, but maybe performance mode would make more sense. It's really case by case with any PC you have. You just gotta experiment with it. Question is, will I be alive long enough to be able to test this thoroughly? Because there's a lot of people. Oh! Ah! Oh, I almost had him. I couldn't stay alive long enough. I'm gonna say Fortnite will be playable. A couple more drops, it'll be a bit better, but maybe experiment with performance mode. Performance mode might allow you to have a little bit smoother FPS numbers, but yeah, that's Fortnite. Let's go ahead and run uh, our suite of demanding games to really stress this thing to its limits and see. I mean, if you have expectations of a $240 computer, I'm still happy we're getting 100 plus FPS in a game like Fortnite. Let's see what other games can do. All right, guys, well, this PC, Ended up working out pretty well. Uh, we got Jonah all the way up there in the ceiling recording us today, but the fact that we got this PC for so cheap and yet it performed so good is pretty awesome. The performance on this thing was absolutely crazy, just like this camera being so high up right now. Jonah just grew like six feet randomly. It's crazy. <laughs> but um, let's go over some of the other benchmarks of this P410, shall we? First up in Wukong, 1080p medium settings with FSR. We got an average of 68 FPS, a max of 84, and a minimum of 10. Very solid for a $240 PC. The final 1080p medium settings with DLSS, we got 70 to 80 FPS. Battlefield 2042 is a little weird. We got 60 plus FPS, but I got killed by two invisible enemies. <laughs> I don't really know how that happened. I'm gonna guess this thing was struggling to load in all the textures. So buyer beware when it comes to Battlefield 2042. <laughs> and as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we had to repace the GPU because it was running really warm. But after doing that and running 3D Mark, we got a score of 6,707, which is a really solid value price to performance there uh, for 240 bucks. Really like this PC. And if you want to build one yourself, check the link in the description down below. They will be a fill that will help us out. Once again, this was a deal we found on eBay. This is a good blueprint for you guys at home to follow. If you find a P410 while you're shopping on eBay, I definitely recommend you pick it up and slap in a good GPU because it is a good canvas for a budget gaming PC build. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Guys, we got a special place for y'all. It's called PCBros.tech. It's behind this wall right here. If you literally run through this wall, you'll end up at PC Bros. And you can buy a PC today. You just go Toasty Bros on checkout. You'll say 3% your next purchase. All the blood's rushing to my head. See you guys later. Goodbye.